uh, finnygrooves.com. Um, we're going to be putting the videos up there on that too and trying to keep it updated as close as we can. We both work, so yeah, go check the Infinity Grooves website. We're going to be starting. Put more stuff up there, more content, more pictures and stuff. It's pretty awesome. I, I checked it out, and I think I was one of the first ones that got the email list. That, you got an email yet? Yeah. No, not yet, but, yeah, I was, I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Put my email it. That's a, like, you know, just in case I forget something here, it'll send me and say, hey, you done this. Oh, well, hey. Also, um, uh, the radio station. We have a radio station, you know, besides doing this, we have a radio station, and we play anything. From rock, country, metal, R&B, 50s, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Well, we play everything. But if you got a Google, you can download the app. Unfortunately, with Apple, we had a problem with Apple. We have it on the the um, website yeah. on Infinity Grooves. If you click over to the right button, pull it down, it says Infinity Grooves Radio. You can click on that and play and start listening to the radio station. So check that out. Hey, YouTube. Monk and Joker. Back with another one. Got a bonus on the Dio. We're going back to a Dio album called Lock Up the Wolves. And we're going to do night music. It's one of my favorite. One, I, I think this album is <coughs> is uh, underrated. No, nobody really talks about this album. But I, I think this album is very good. And uh, night music is one of my favorite songs on this album. I don't, I don't think I know this album. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> All right, check it out then. Just like everybody else, some of you might know it though. <laughs> By the way, you were talking about earlier Simon Wright or yeah. playing drum. He played drums on the film. Yeah. I could tell it. You could you could tell the, 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 uh, from the albums that he played on with ACDC to this one. There's a, there's a you know the way he's, the playing style. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a good song. <laughs> It's got that awesome sound, whether we all know and love by Dio, especially when he, you know. Dude, this one had Wild One. This I, one had Born on the Sun. I got, I got to get that album because, you know, I got like, you know, two or three albums of his, and I got the greatest hits. You know, it's got the the wolf on the cover. Yeah. I think it was two CDs, I think. But I When did that one come out? I missed that one somehow. I don't, I don't know. Um, This one... 
Absolutely. It's remastered 2016, but we know that didn't come out then. No. <laughs> this was, uh, well, I'll look it up. I'll just keep it going and we'll look it up. Yeah. So open up your eyes. So Simon, we was talking about Simon Wright earlier. Simon Wright played on five albums of ACDC from 83 to 89. And I could tell he played on, fly, you know, Fly on the Wall, Blow Up Your Video, Flick of the Switch, uh, Who Made Who album. And, I mean, that, you could tell that since. I mean, that's. Yeah, and this album came out May 15, 1990. And it has him on drums and an 18-year-old guitarist named Rowan Robertson. So right after he left ACDC and the uh, Phil Rudd come back, I guess from his stint in the getting clear, he went to play with Dio. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be mistaken, something happened on the album before this, a tour or something like that. They brought Simon in uh, to, to play drums halfway through or something right. like that. I could be wrong, but I'm trying to go back in time, and I I think that's what happened. I think it's how, how he got associated with Dio. Yeah, because I know Phil Rudd went through his six-year stint of, out of the band because he was, I want to think he was alcoholism and substance abuse. But well, which good rock band hasn't had someone go into rehab or... <sighs> Here's the, here's the funny thing about this. It says right here, this was co- recorded at Granny's house in Rio, <laughs> Nevada. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, it says right here, Phil Rudd left the band for s- six years to go to rehab. I mean, usually when you go to rehab, you go for about up to six months. He went for six years. <laughs> <laughs> Did it help? Well, it helped him out until he tried to, you know, buy pay that hitman to, you know, what, a, two or three years ago. Remember when he bought that hitman? I, I remember. <laughs> but yeah, let's keep this one going. In the night, you're the song and the singer. You can choose what the band's gonna play. Right the way. Such an unrated album, man. I mean, that was that was good. I mean, that was 
I'm gonna go home and purchase that album, Ooh. and so that way I can have it. It's Dio. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, I, but you know, every every artist or band has their un what you call unrecognized. No, wait, wait, no. Their low, your lows and your highs. I mean, I guess they thought this was that. Let's look at ACDC. It's always been fly on the wall, flick of the switch, blow up your video. That's been the three that's. You know, then and and see that's crazy because if you ask me my favorite ACDC album, it's Flick of the Switch. I mean they're all good. Flick of the but, Switch is my favorite. But I mean they, I love every song on that album. So that's like this album. I didn't know nothing of it, but you know, and, and it's one of my favorites. Yeah. So I mean I I gotta go back and I gotta I gotta I gotta get it for one. But every band or musician has their I guess you say underrated. <laughs> You got albums. You got with even when like with Ozzy, um, <clears throat> Ultimate Sin gets no respect. Yeah, I like I that album. Think, and I, it, this album is amazing. Yeah, I really like that album. So, but um, yeah, this is this Dio Lock Up the Wolves is so underrated in my opinion. And if you're a Dio fan and and you did not know about it, just like he didn't, you need to check it out, man. It's so good. I'm gonna get it as soon as I get to the house. <laughs> I mean, it, but Dio is Dio. I mean, that's like powerful uh, voice. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't, you can't. Sometimes words can't muster up or begin to say what a, a, a voice like that is lost has done for the rock industry. I mean, you you don't have that voice to to scream out, "Hey, rock and roll is still alive! Hey, rock and roll is still here!" And that's gonna hurt. I mean, he's got an undeniable voice for the industry. Well, I I, I ain't the same shame uh a same shame to say that when I when, when I heard about him passing, man, my heart was broke because I've been such a huge fan of his when I started getting into metal at, at, in, the, in the first place, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, to lose him, it was, it was like, you know, I know I didn't know him, but it was like losing a family member. I mean, you, so I, I, they touched you. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I remember I was uh, on day shift. I was coming home from work and I know you, 90% of y'all don't, don't know where the wagon wheel is, but that's when they come across the radio. I was, you know, left work, and I was coming across the hill right there where the wagon wheel is, and they come across Sirius XM that Ronnie James Dio had passed. I remember where I was at in 2010. I just went back to work. I was laid off from those nine months. But anyway, I went back to work, and I was leaving off of day shift, and I was coming home, and as soon as I crossed the hill, got the wagon wheel, it come on, and and – on uh, uh, Octane and said that he had passed. I was like, well, she, yeah. I was like, well, that, you know, it, it, it crushed, you know, a little bit of piece of, of the rock and roll industry. And, and, and me too. I mean, I, I love this music. I mean, if you was a fan of rock and roll, you can't say you never liked anything or haven't liked anything that Ronnie James Dio has put out with Black Sabbath, him or heaven or hell, heaven and hell. Yeah, such that that voice. You, I hear it in my head all the time. Even just when I'm just riding around or working, and I'm don't have a radio near me. If I start singing songs in my head, you know, I hear Ronnie James Dio in it all the time. Cause it, cause it's just so so great, so you know. He's like the, I don't want to say opera of metal, but he kind of is. He, I mean, he can, he can, his voice stands out over the music. I mean, mm-hmm. even if you didn't have the music, you know what his voice would sound like. I mean, you have a lot of people or a lot of front men out there that has to have the music to coincide with their voice to, well, I mean, which ain't bad, but I mean, you, you can separate his voice and still get a great melody symphony just with his voice. Yeah. Well, we hope y'all enjoyed this Dio week. Um, you know, we just 
we thought about it one time and we was like, let's do a Dio week because, you know, he's been in so many influential bands. So, uh, and the stuff that, and a couple of things that he never heard, got he got to hear. So, uh, we hope you all enjoyed it and because uh, we enjoy bringing it to you. So, but that was Dio. That was Night Music. We're Infinity Grooves. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment and come join us on this journey. Peace.